Ah, Southern California. Known for its palm trees, beaches, Hollywood, beautiful women, and famous rap legends. People come from far and wide to enjoy everything the city has to offer, including the bright lights and free-flowing open roadways. Okay, maybe not. But there are a few other more hidden wonders of the Los Angeles region that don't always get as much attention. Hidden wonders that possess some very unique creatures that don't mind the spotlight, but also enjoy wet, rocky surfaces. It's funny they say it never rains in Southern California, because without rain, this hidden creature would be long forgotten. In a previous Backyard Science video, we learned about the incredible ecosystem known as freshwater streams. These ecosystems, just like many others, possess an abundance of both abiotic and biotic factors that help the system flourish. Organisms that thrive in these environments have done so by developing unique adaptations that enable them to not only find food for survival, but also defend themselves from potential predators. And no species has become more adept to the freshwater stream habitat than this commonly known amphibian. Frogs and toads consist of over 7,300 species and are found all over the globe in moist, damp locations. Likely the most popular of all frogs, Kerbin himself, is actually a spitting resemblance of a frog species that was discovered in 2015, scientifically named Hyalin obotrachium diani, or now just commonly known as Kermit. This glass frog found in the mountains of Costa Rica represents just one of many new species of frog that we continue to discover on a yearly basis. Just last year, I released a video all about taxonomy to help us in naming a new species of tree frog found in the cloud forests of Ecuador. Name suggestions came in from all across the globe, with the final winning scientific name being Hyloscurtus conscientia, or the Chacao cloud forest frog, appropriately named as a reminder of our need to be conscientious when dealing with our environment, as well as describing the location where this incredible species was discovered. <laughs> this frog species right here is no different, as it too is appropriately named for the location that is commonly found, California. This is the California tree frog. Much like some of your favorite rappers that rep the state of California, such as Snoop Dogg, E-40, and Kendrick Lamar, this species isn't found throughout the state, but rather in a range that spreads throughout coastal Southern California eastward to Joshua Tree National Park, and south all the way into northern Baja California in Mexico. Ironically, it shares much of the same territory with another Cali native, the Baja California tree frog. Both species are similar in a number of ways, with the easiest differentiator being the distinct black stripe through the eye of the Baja California species. The California tree frog is primarily found in a pale coloration with dark markings, while the Baja California tree frog can be found in a variety of colors, including greens, grays, and brown. California tree frogs measure about one to two inches in length and have a rough textured skin perfectly blotched to match its surrounding habitat. Simply by sitting still on the rocks and boulders that make up its freshwater stream environment, these tree frogs can completely blend in, making them nearly invisible to would-be predators such as snakes and birds. They prefer slow-moving coastal and canyon streams with permanent quiet pools where they can hide, mate, and hunt for food. This species will typically feed on small insects, worms, spiders, centipedes, and any other small invertebrates it can fit in its mouth. So cool. But the question I'm sure you're all wondering is why they call California tree frogs when their habitat of choice is clearly rocks and other grounded fixtures. Well, why is little baby a fully grown adult? Why does the weekend make music on weekdays? Questions we may never know, but we do know this. Not all tree frogs live in trees. This family of amphibians is actually defined by their non-Balenciaga wearing, no Air Jordan having feet. The last bone in their toes, known as the terminal phalanx, has a claw-like shape, which along with specialized toe pads, enables them to climb trees, rocks, or other elements in their habitat. However, before developing into these tree or rock climbing specialists, these frogs, like most other amphibians, go through a metamorphosis. 
Males will mate with females in a love grasp known as amplexus, where the males will externally fertilize the female's eggs. The eggs are attached in clusters to twigs, leaves, and other debris in quiet pools, and eventually hatch into plant-feeding tadpoles. After about 40 to 75 days, the tadpoles lose their tails and begin to form legs and a defined mouth. They then leave their underwater homes and roam freely as fully air-breathing juvenile tree frogs. So next time you make a visit to Cali, think far beyond the Rodeo Drives and Melrose Streets. Look past the Santa Monica Piers and Beverly Hills Boulevards. Think of more than just leisurely strolls through Compton or Watts. Okay, probably not so leisurely. But there is one place where blue and red flags don't matter, but rather the pristine, fresh running waters of an ecosystem that one of California's own calls home. I'm the Hip Hop MD. This is Hip Hop Science, reminding you as always that curiosity is nature's PhD. Never stop asking.